Hello, this is Landon Cox from the eSawdust website, and this is a video assembly guide for the crib for Arduino enclosure. First, you'll want to unwrap and unpackage um, all the different pieces that come with your enclosure and just get them organized. Next, separate the base plate from the lid and flip it over. Uh, this is the side that you'll end up mounting your Arduino to. There's two different hole patterns, one for the Arduino Mega and one for the regular Arduino. Next, you'll want to put in the three uh, snap-in standoffs. The Arduino um, Classic Board has three mounting holes and you'll see those uh, pointed out there. You'll take the uh, plastic snap-in standoffs and just uh, uh, push them firmly into the three holes that uh, line up with the, the um, Arduino board. And when you're finished, you should have this uh, configuration right here. You'll see the one empty hole on the right, which is actually for the uh, Arduino Mega, but we're not mounting the Arduino Mega right now. Next, you want to just push the Arduino directly onto the standoffs. Um, use your uh, thumbs and press firmly down and do one hole at a time seems to work the best. And it'll snap in. You'll hear kind of a soft click when it snaps in. Next part is uh, you'll want to pre-thread these uh, screws into the base plate. And the reason is that um, they're self-drilling and self-tapping. And it's just easier to do it this way. You could also um, you know, put the put the face plate up there to uh, start it, but I found that it's just easier to uh, pre-drill these, screw them in, then pull them out, and uh, then attach the face plate. So find the uh, face plate. There is uh, only one direction that it'll actually fit and go, so you may have to rotate it or uh, flip it in order to uh, get it to line up correctly with the uh, Arduino. Then just screw in the bottom screw to attach that face plate and you've got one end of it done. Next you'll pre-thread the um, screw into the opposite side of the base plate. We're going to add the uh, blank face plate on the end. And again this is uh, pretty much just one time operation. It's uh, the threading and tapping of that uh, screw all in one operation. When you press this um, screw in what you're going to find is that uh, after a few turns it's going to bite. Um, before that, it, uh, it'll just turn, seem like it's spinning. When you attach the uh, rear faceplate, then we'll be getting close to ready to uh, put the lid on. Next, we'll add the lid, and uh, it should just slide on simply between the two faceplates. It uh, goes on the inside of the faceplates, not on the outside. Uh, if you've um, slightly bent your faceplate inward or something like that, you might want to um, pull it slightly outward so that the lid can fit down nice in, in, in between. And again, just attach with the uh, self-drilling, self-tapping screws. Uh, the first few turns, it's not going to seem like it's going anywhere, but after uh, a few turns, uh, the, the thread cutting will start to cut, and um, you'll feel the uh, screw start to bite and turn in. Next, we'll attach the rear faceplate. Again, just take the self-tapping screws and uh, secure the uh, lid and uh, faceplates together.
that finishes the uh, initial assembly of the enclosure. Next, we'll want to unscrew the screws that we just uh, fastened. And the reason is that as they uh, cut into the metal and uh, tap, they'll leave behind metal shavings, which can get into the interior of your enclosure. And you don't want that, so uh, just uh, disassemble it real quickly and uh, tap out the metal, metal shavings that might have ended up inside. Uh, the other thing you can do is uh, before you button it up like this uh, and before you put the lid on, just go ahead and pre-thread with the screws um, each of the holes in the lid and uh, base plates and that'll do the same thing. So thanks for watching. This has been the uh, crib for Arduino, where you have one enclosure for either the Arduino or Arduino Mega, and just add an optional faceplate for the Ethernet shield, and you're all set. Find out more at esawdust.com.